Welcome back, everybody, to Linda Larkin's birthday special with another game. We're going to play a couple of Sega Game Gear games. The first one is, of course, Jeopardy. Let's see how we do. Taking on Gail today. Here are the categories. We have Music Astronomy, Soggy Cinema, Ten Letter Words, Museums, Cats and Dogs, and Cowboys and Indians. Cats and Dogs 100. The answer is... This cat speaks for nine lives. Who is Morris? You are right. Cats and Dogs 200. The answer is... Dog who went from Petticoat Junction to International Stardom. Who is Benji? Geppetto's cat in Pinocchio. Who is Figaro? You are right. Cat the Docks for 400. The Hearts Dog on Heart to Heart. Who is Freeway? Yes. And Cat the Dogs for 500. Mom and Dad to Disney's dog, Scamp. Who are Lady and the Tramp? Cowboys and Indians for 100. The answer is... A real mohawk, Jay Silver Heroes played this Indian on TV. Uh, who was Tonto? Correct. Cowboys and Indians 200. The singing cowboy and owner of the California Angels has written more than 250 songs. Who is Gene Autry? Correct. Cowboys and Indians 300. For six years, singer Ed Ames played this character, this TV character's Indian friend, Mingo. Who is Daniel Boone? Correct. 
Cowboys and Indies for four. The answer is... This TV series starred Romanian illegal alien Duncan Ronaldo as a Latino cowboy. The Cisco Kid. Alright. Let's close it out. The answer is... Nickname of the talkative bearded cowboy actor, George Hayes. What is Gabby? I would like uh, music. Uh, music astronomy for a hundred. The answer is satellite, which is silvery or blue, depending on the song. What is the moon? You are right. Music astronomy two hundred. Song about celestial rain you can bank on. What is pennies from heaven? Music astronomy for three. The answer is song about what you can do unless you'd rather be a pig, a mule, or a fish. What is swinging on a star? Music astronomy for four. The answer is... In Aquarius, the planet which aligns with Mars. What is Jupiter? Celestial Songs for 500, or Music Astronomy 500. The answer is... Unless, unlike its namesake, this 50s pop group showed up more often than 76 years. Who are Bill Haley and the Comets. We'll take museums for a hundred. The answer is... You can't hold a candle to her London Chamber of Horrors. Who is Madame Tussaud? Museums for two. The 
Rembrandts. The city's Rijks Museum is known for having the finest collection of Rembrandts. What is Amsterdam? Museum Street? The answer is... This Midwest City Science Museum has a coal mine and a submarine. What is Chicago? Museums for 400. The answer is... The Uffizi Gallery houses this country's National Library. What is Italy? Yes. Museums for 500. With paintings going back to only 1880, this museum was founded in New York City in 1929. What is the Museum of Modern Art? Uh, Seth Soggy Cinema 100. The answer is... Alec Guinness's crew whistled while they worked on the bridge over this. What's the river Kwai? You are right. Soggy Cinema 200. Title noise made by mermaid Daryl Hannah. What is splash? Correct. Sloggy stand up for three. Movie in which the fl ship flipped over Shelley Winters. What is the Poseidon Adventure? Soggy Cinema for four. The answer is... In the Butch Cassidy cycling song, these kept falling on his head. What are raindrops? Puddles were props in this classic Gene Kelly number. What is singing in the rain?
correct? Ten little words, a hundred. The answer is... Wrinkled or furrowed as cardboard or iron. What is corrugated? You are right. Two hundred. Mercy killing. What is euthanized? That's wrong. <laughs> Euthanasia. Euthanasia. Oh well. That was close. The answer is... At record companies, it's what the R and A and R stands for. What is repertoire? In Latin, rosa, rose, rosas, for example. Declension. All right. Last clue. And it happens to be mine because it's the Daily Double. 2700 Put me $10,000 if I get this clue right. The answer is... From German for rear, it's the region behind a coast or remote from other cities. What is the hinterland? You are right. Ten grand. Double jeopardy. <laughs> World capitals. All right. Good place to start. Two hundred. The answer is Swedish capital that gave us Ingrid Bergman, Greta Garbo, and Anne Margaret. What is Stockholm? World capitals for 400. The answer is... The Thais call this, their city, their capital, the city of angels. What is Bangkok? You are right. World capitals for six. The world's highest capital, La Paz, is in this country. What is Bolivia? Yes. World capital for 800?
Just a water hole at the turn of the century, it's now Kenya's capital with over 800,000 people. What is Nairobi? World capital's a thousand. <laughs> I'm gonna bet it all. The answer is... When the Dutch ruled this country, they built canals in Jakarta, its capital. What is Indonesia? You are right. Twenty-four thousand dollars right now. So we have American Indians and landmarks. What other categories do we have? Numbers, country music, and just names. American Indians, two hundred. Yes, she married John Roll, not John Smith. Who is Pocahontas? You are right. American Indians for four. The answer is... World War II paratroopers made this Apache chief's name their battle cry. Who is Geronimo? American Indians for 600. The answer is... Manabozo was the actual subject of this Longfellow poem. What is the Song of Hiawatha? Or Evangeline? Evangeline. What is Evangeline? No. <laughs> Hiawatha. It was Hiawatha. Oh well. American Indians 800. The answer is... It was he, not Sitting Bull, who led the Indians at Custer's last stand. Who is Crazy Horse? Yes. The answer is... Numbering some 140,000, the Southwest Tribe is America's largest The Navajo, okay. That's okay. Let's try another uh, category. We have landmarks, numbers, country music, just names. Country music 200. The answer is. Their first album was called My Homes in Alabama. Who are Alabama? Country Music 400. The answer is... This former pro ball player is country's top black star. Who is Charlie Pride?
You are right. The answer is... Guitarist who won the Cashbox Best Instrumentalist Award 14 years straight. Chet Atkins. All right. The answer is Hee Haw Star, best known for Act Naturally. Buck Owens. You are right. In 72, she was the happiest gal in the whole USA. Donna Fargo. Donna Fargo. Landmarks for 200. The answer is... The world's largest office building named for its geometric shape. What is the Pentagon? Yes. Landmark's 400. Defaced by sand and invading armies, it crouches near the Great Pyramids. What is the Sphinx? Yes. Landmark 6? His statue is atop Philadelphia City Hall. Who is William Penn? Correct. Landmarks 800. Francis Unknown Soldier lies beneath this Champs Elysees landmark. What is the um, Arc de Triomphe? Landmark 1000. The answer is... The date on the tablet held by the Statue of Liberty. What is July 4th? Eighteen eighty six. Oh, well, <laughs> July fourth, seventeen seventy six. Okay, I was off by a hundred and ten years, but that's okay. Just names for 200. The answer is... A man's name, a bird's beak, or a restaurant's check. What's a bill? The 
What you stick your pimento in? What's an olive? The answer is a single serving of butter for Mrs. Nixon. What's a pat? The answer is a jolly car or the name in a deck of cards. What is a jet? Just names a thousand. The answer is a completely honest hot dog. What's a Frank? Number of times John Glenn orbited the Earth. What is one? Three. Three times. Okay. Four hundred. The answer is... The number of white horses she'll be driving while coming round the mountain. What is six? You are right. Numeric system using only one and zero. Binary. The answer is number of points on a backgammon board. Twenty-four. Last clip. The answer is... He was elected on the campaign slogan 5440 or 5. James K. Polk. I was thinking him. You are right. Final Jeopardy. Let's get to it. I'll do 3,000. The answer is... The number of zeros in one trillion. Well, the answer is. So I'm gonna end up with 60 grand in this game, and I'll see you all for another game after the break.